Hey everyone, it's Rob Anderson here with Dollar Moves. I'd like to welcome you to another video. And the video today is going to be about supplies that I purchased locally. And so that way you can see uh, different supplies that you can possibly purchase locally uh, near you also. Uh, my brother and I went to, we actually just went to a local Walmart and bought some of the supplies that, uh, that I personally use to um, either clean or to remove stickers or we also get boxes there and show you some of the stuff with actual prices this was done um, in July the beginning of July in 2012 so prices that were at our local uh, Walmart so they may you know I wouldn't expect them to be the same prices at yours but it gives you an idea of what to expect when you go out there um, I wanted to let you know ahead of time that I use my little flip camera so the flip camera is not very steady there will be a little bit of uh, jerking around kind of stuff you know it's um, it is you know because I there are some parts where I was actually in like stealth mode there I had a a, a, a Walmart associate behind me while I'm holding the flip phone like right here you know in front of me talk pretending to talk to my brother so um, anyway I will show you that information in just a second here and um, also watch at the end of the video I will give you some more ideas on where to get boxes for sending your stuff out to Amazon so without further ado here's the Walmart trip thanks guys This one is 12, 12 inch by 12 inch by 10 and a half inch. And the cost? And 67 cents. Okay, and you want to fold that one out real quick? Okay, and then the next one? Okay, costs on that one? Costs on that one is 98 cents. Okay. Oh no, wait, I think that one's 68 cents. And the next one's 98. Yeah, it is. Okay, so go ahead and just push that one over by the other one and we'll do this last one real quick. This one's 16 inch by 16 inch by 15 inch. And that's the 98 cent one, right? This is the 98 cent one. That one didn't agree with you. No. The covert operations. Alright, so you want to push those up against the thing so we can see it kind of side by side. Alright, so... Perfect. So, this was the first kind of shipping tape that I used. It just has a little... It's not a gun or anything, it's a, I don't know what you'd call this, you just slide it on and it cuts it with the teeth right there, just pop it off. So, anyway, that's some uh, a good alternative if you're on a little budget, four ninety seven at R. Alright, so, this is the one that I got right here, the, the heavy duty with the gun, and at our Walmart it's 1024, and then the heavy duty four pack. The heavy duty shipping is uh, $16.97. And I think that's pretty much, oh, sometimes we'll get the um, craft paper here. It comes in these big packages for $9.44. And then also, um, there's that other thing, craft paper. I have one of these for wrapping things up. Just stretch wrap with a handle, which makes it really nice. And it's uh, $7.97 here. Two different kinds of rubbing alcohol that I use to clean. They've got the 70% here uh, for $1.96. But what I use is the 91%. And it's $2.58 per. All right, guys, I hope that you found that uh, helpful. And uh, now I wanted to talk with you about the boxes that I sent out to Amazon. 
Um, the boxes that you send your product to Amazon's FBA uh, warehouses do not have to be nice. They don't have to look good. Um, all that really matters is that those boxes uh, will make it there without harming your product. And um, that's that's really all it needs to do. It just needs to be a strong box that you can send out. So the uh, examples that we showed from Walmart, those are great boxes. And um, a lot of times those are ones that I've used. Um, and do use when I need different size boxes. Uh, I want to give you some ideas on other places that I've heard people going and um, getting boxes from. One is uh, dumpster diving in the back of like big stores. I've never done that and quite honestly I'd rather pay a little bit of money and get some from Walmart than dumpster dive, but it's an idea that uh, you might want to think about. Um, there is also, well, how I came across the boxes that I have now is when Borders went out of uh, business, they, we were able to get my brother and I get a bunch of these boxes that they had when they were selling all their stuff. So I haven't had to buy boxes for, you know, a year now, pretty much. So, um, there's that you can, uh, go to different stores and ask them about it. And in fact, when I was done at Walmart this uh, in the trip that you just saw, I was just being friendly with the, the girl up at the counter, talking with her and stuff, and she said, wow, you know, because we went kind of late at night because we were trying to do that stealth mode, you know, and didn't want to have a bunch of people walking around and try and uh, get you the, the information or get you the shots. And um, she said, you know, if you just hang out, and because uh, it was like 11 o'clock at night, she said, if you just hang out and then go talk to the people right around midnight or whatever that are in the aisles, you know, because they were stalking, um, she said that you can just get those boxes for free. So there's a tip for you. You might be able to go to your Walmart, talk with those people, get free boxes from them. So I was like, do they want anything in return, any money or anything? She's like, no, it, it will actually help them. So um, there's that. And also, while we're talking about shipping supply stuff, I've heard that um, some people go to get like the air pillows and boxes and, uh, and you know, void fill, the stuff that you put in between your products in the box to keep them from moving around, that they go to different um, businesses that and ask if they've got any extra of that stuff. Uh, a big one that I heard was like Hallmark stores. They end up getting a bunch of the pillows and stuff like that. And so they'll give away that stuff for free. So those are just a few places as far as uh, as far as like boxes and some different shipping supplies go to get them for when free. You, if you do the thrift shopping and you end up going thrift shopping quite a bit, every time you go, when you get something substantial, ask for a box. Ask for a box. I get boxes, especially when I do books. I, I ask for box boxes every time. And so you'll end up in inevitably getting some boxes that are good enough to send out to Amazon. So anyway, I hope that you guys found the, uh, the video um, informative. And uh, I'd like to thank you again for sticking around and watching. Um, if it's something that you enjoyed, uh, please go ahead and like down below if you found value in it. Any positive comments would be greatly appreciated. And uh, if, you, if you like what you saw and you'd like to see more, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and, uh, and YouTube will let you know when videos will be available in the future. All right, you guys. Hey, have a great day. Take care.